we know New Mexico has some of the best food in the whole country. Yeah, recently Danielle and I met Steve Solis and Chris Ramirez on the Real Runner to find some true New Mexico moments. We basically spent a whole day hopping on and off the train, eating in some of our state's most iconic restaurants. So join us on the Green Chili Express. First stop is Bernalillo. It's 7.19 a.m. All aboard the New Mexico Rail Runner Express. We board first in downtown Albuquerque. Danielle, we're going places. That's right. And our first stop, downtown Bernalillo. It's definitely the way to commute. Yeah. I would love this every morning. You get a real taste of the beauty our state has to offer, sitting in the train car, looking out the windows. This is always a really pretty time of day in the North Valley. We're here. This is how our squad rolls to one of New Mexico's best breakfast spots. Uh-huh, sure, Colton. All right, so right now we're inside of the Range Cafe in downtown Bernalillo. It took us seriously five minutes to get from the train station to inside this pretty amazing establishment. You can see these guys here are feeling super hungry right now. They're thinking about eating those plates. This is where the magic happens. These folks have the power to put New Mexico on a plate. So when people think about New Mexico, they obviously think of things like the Balloon Fiesta or Green Chili, but the Range Cafe should be on that list. Yes, most definitely, most definitely. Yes. What is New Mexico on the menu? Like, what, do you, what screams New Mexico? Carne adobada, tamales, green chili, the green chili gravy, yes. What do you eat? What do I eat? My favorite, my very, very favorite here is our New Mexico pastrami. This is where we get spoiled, a tasting of some of the best the range has to offer. Syrup. From blue corn pancakes to deep fried green chili and cheesy chili rellenos. The cheese. Before you moved to New Mexico, did you eat green chili often? No, ever? I never did. Had you ever, though? Like no, not once. Well, now that you're here, Steve, eat up. Good food, good friends. What more could anyone ask for? Final boarding call. Please stand clear. Doors now closing. Well, coming up tonight at 6, we continue our tour on the New Mexico Green Chili Express. Danielle and Steve Solis will show you where the train took us next and what deliciousness they found there. Well, I was there too, right? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I forgot. You came along. So much food, you know. Next stop is my brain Santa Fe, but we're fried. not going to tell you where if you want to try and guess. New Mexico is home to some of the best cuisine in the nation. The staple of most of those meals, green chili. Danielle Tedesco and Steve Solis recently spent the day with Chris Ramirez and Colton Schoen. They hopped on the Rail Runner in search of some of our state's best dishes. All aboard the Green Chili Express, next stop Santa Fe, and to a restaurant that is legendary in New Mexico for locals and tourists. We got a rally. As soon as we got off the train. We're eating again, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. Chris let us know he was ready to eat. We made the short walk from the train to Tomasita. But once you walk into Tomasita's, you can quickly tell this is one unique restaurant. The building is more than 100 years old. It once served as a station house for the Denver and Rio Grande Western Railroad. Georgia Marial opened the restaurant in 1973. Yeah, when Georgia took this over, the head cook was Tomasita. And the day she took over, Georgia went in, and the little lady, she's like in her 70s, and she said, do I still have a job? Tomasita stayed at the restaurant, which would eventually become her namesake. Manager Ignacio Pazzala says not much has changed over the years. It's all the same. We, st we still use the same recipes. The, ch the chilies are the same. We use the red chili, Caribbean style. We get a chili from the Hatch area. We have a, a farmer that a, does a maker for us. Now it's one of Santa Fe's most popular restaurants. Through time, through tradition, what put us up on the map, I would say, with the locals, because we have the local flavor. Many people get to Tomasitas the same way we did, by riding the rail runner. It was a boost for the economy of Santa Fe itself because uh, when that train comes at 1120, uh, 
um, there's a lot of tourists on the train. They have a senior day on that train. So there's a variety of people that come on. So it's increased our, our business. And they immediately find out about the incredible food on the restaurant's extensive menu. Today's special is flautas and it's uh, corn tortillas with chili chicken cheese rolled up deep fried. They're not hot, they're crispy. Chili rellenos, uh, tamales, we make our own home. Another reason we make our own home tamales. Everything's pretty much made in house. So it and everything is pretty much delicious. I think my favorite is that chili relleno. It's really, really good. Each bite was filled with flavor. The taste of Tomasitas is truly homemade. Oh, good. Uh, you come to this place, we got to make it uh, your home. This tamale, which is unbelievable. After devouring some traditional northern New Mexico cuisine and a little shopping on the Santa Fe Plaza, oh, that smells great. It's time to hop back on the Green Chili Express. I wonder what delicious delights are in store for us next. Coming up tonight at 10, the tour on the New Mexico Chili Express continues in the Metro. Steve and Chris will tell us about a brewery making noise in new ways. We are on the final stop of the Green Chili Express. Our Steve Solis, Chris Ramirez, and morning show friends Danielle Tedesco and Colton Schoen recently spent the day on the rails finding good spots to eat along the way. At 6, we brought you their journey to Santa Fe. Now let's see what they discovered on the way back to Albuquerque. Let's recap the day so far. We started in downtown Albuquerque and jumped off the rail runner at downtown Bernalillo. So this is our Reservoir Dogs moment. <laughs> the Range Cafe is a quick walk from the station. <laughs> Danielle sure enjoyed those blue corn pancakes. Final morning call. Please stay clear. Doors now closing. Our next stop on the journey to Santa Fe and lunch at the famous The Masitas. And this lady here at the end. This is actually Tomasita. We learned Tomasita was a real person, the first chef at the restaurant decades ago. Now it's one of New Mexico's most memorable and most iconic restaurants. Our next leg of the journey. Here we are again. Yep. We say farewell to Santa Fe as we once again get on the train. Good afternoon, welcome on board. I felt re-energized after Tomasita's. It was the margarita. <laughs> I had one sip of the margarita. <laughs> Hello, Los Ranchos de Albuquerque. Fair warning, when we got off the train, it was a half mile trek through some busy roads. But where we ended up was so worth it. Welcome to Steel Bender Brew Yard. Steel Bender Brew Yard specializes in great posh pub food with the New Mexican twist. And some amazing craft beer. You guys are still up and coming, right? I mean, you're, you're fairly new to the scene. What will it take to get you to that New Mexico icon status? Or do you think you're already there? Oh, no. We're, we're definitely we're the new kid on the block. Um, New Mexico icon, when you're talking about restaurants, everyone in New Mexico loves to go out to eat. So to be an icon in a restaurant industry, that's something to strive for. The beer is brewed behind these walls. This is really where the major flavor impact is going to happen. And the food is all prepared from scratch in this kitchen. All the burgers are ground fresh daily. The, the brats are ground fresh and encased daily. Their beer brats. Fries are hand cut. What sets you guys apart from the other players in town? One, we really try to make the atmosphere a place that you'd want to hang out at. We wanted to make sure that we had a full um, menu and that it was all done from scratch. After sampling the beer braised pulled pork, the fried green chili strips, and these other delicious foods, our journey had to come to an end. Hold on, Chris. Let's be honest with our viewers. We definitely enjoy these craft beers. The IPA and Kolsch are two thumbs up. This is what New Mexico's life recipe is made of. It starts with good friends, and you need to get around and experience the flavors of other communities. And you can make your own New Mexico moment with some of our state's iconic food and a good local brew. If you would like to see their entire journey along the Chili Express and learn more about each restaurant they visited, we've posted it all on KOB.com.